What would be the purpose of life if everything conceivable occurs? But in another universe, endless scenarios and possibilities unfold across an infinite multiverse. In one universe, you might be impoverished, and in another, affluent. The multiverse concept suggests a limitless array of possibilities. So why exert effort studying for exams if, in some alternate reality, you effortlessly achieve top marks? Why fret over decisions and dilemmas? In a multiverse, every conceivable outcome materializes. Each universe could be radically different, or the variations might be as subtle as a minor twitch of your little finger. What would fate mean in a multiverse where every possible scenario plays out? How do we interpret death in such a reality? Could our consciousness shift to the nearest alternate reality upon death, rendering it merely an illusion? Do we perpetually transition from one universe to another at the moment of death? These questions may forever elude our understanding. The concept of traveling to another universe, based purely on distance, seems implausible. Scientifically testing this theory poses significant challenges. Do we exist in some form at some point in some part of the multiverse? Does this imply that we never truly die? Consider this scenario. In this universe, you are a celebrated pop star, composing hit songs and adored by millions. Yet, could this reality exist for all of us somewhere in the multiverse? This notion might diminish your achievements. As you tour the globe, the ignored homeless person might be enjoying a similar celebrity status in a different universe. In one world, you might be a serial killer, while in another, you do not exist at all. Perhaps in that reality, dinosaurs evolved into the dominant intelligent species and humans never emerged. When contemplating the multiverse, the questions are indeed endless and challenge our understanding of reality and our place within it. Imagine there's an enormous library that's infinitely big, filled with books. Each book represents a different universe. In this library, there are countless versions of books about you and your life. In one book, you might be a doctor. In another, you could be a teacher and so on. In the multiverse theory, every possible scenario happens in some universe. This is like saying in some books in this library, you're rich, and in others, you're not. There are books where you made different choices, and those choices led to different lives. You might wonder, why study for a test if there's a book in the library where you already passed with flying colors? Well, the book you're living in right now is the one that counts for you. Just because another book has you passing easily doesn't change your situation in this book. If every outcome exists somewhere in this library, what does that say about fate? Well, it might mean that fate is not about a predetermined story, but more about which book you're currently in. Each book, or universe, has its own path, but you're only experiencing one of them. What about death? If you die in this book, does your story continue in another book where you didn't die at that moment? Some people wonder if our consciousness might just jump to another book where we're still alive. But remember, these are just ideas and very difficult to test scientifically. Are you existing somewhere else at this very moment in another universe, another book in our library? Maybe in one universe you're a famous musician or a president. This brings up questions about our identity and achievements. If everyone is special somewhere in the multiverse, what makes our current situation unique? In simple terms, thinking about a multiverse is like imagining there are infinite stories about you and everyone else, each playing out differently based on every possible choice and chance event. It's a fascinating way to think about the world, even though we can't visit these other universes to see what's happening in them. It's like having an endless collection of stories where anything imaginable can happen. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more content like this, then please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.